It is October, Hutch Henrys. This champion go with me to Mexico in Lucha Libre AAA with all the Psycho Locos. Psycho Loco! Psycho Loco! Psycho Loco! Well, like you said, Chris, it is Halloween. And what better than to have a guy dressed up like a clown facing a guy dressed up like a champion, a fake champion. That's a costume, Chris. It's a prop. Hey, people, He's not the real champ. Lindsay, Lindsay knows that word, this word. You help me, please. When I do this thing, eh, you tell puto, OK? Well, it's time for the classic puto. Eh, Well, we do say that in Canada we're bilingual. I don't know, know if, if if you get to know Gringo Loco, or sorry, if you get to know, well, if you get to know Lince Dorado, you'll find out that he actually is a puto. So. Well, I think fans have determined early on here at Henry's who they are in support of. Psycho Clown. It's hard not to respect Psycho Clown and his accomplishments and his dynasty, that legendary family, Hutch Henry. Official bell, here we go. Collar and elbow right into a front face lock. Lindsay getting out. Psycho rolling through, picking the ankle. Mare in the middle of the ring, Bulldog choking over into a crucifix. Look at these guys going at it. Nice deep arm drag and Lindsay all the way out. And this is where people underestimate Psycho Clown. He's such a versatile brawler that you sometimes forget his Lucha Libre fundamentals and his execution that he can still bring to the table. And look, all the fans are moving. I don't think, no, nothing. The security got all the fans to move for no reason. You better get the hell out of the way because when Psycho Clown is out there, things get a bit unhinged. He's, a, he, he's training them so that they know later on they might need to move. Predictive programming, they call that Hutch Henry. Able to take the interim champion down. Wow, look at this, turning through. Going for it, it was an Indian deathlock here, trying to grab the leg. Lindsay tried to put it in behind the head of Clown, but he slapped it away. Hitting combination. The shoulders were down for Lindsay Dorado. Wow, to his feet. Wow, Look, at that. Him out. Look at this. I thought he was going to maybe flapjack out, put the pressure on the knees, but this is brutal. A lot of pressure on that right knee as your entire body weight is being held up by it. And look, Lindsay, arm ringer into a bite and a back break. And this is something that Psycho Clown thrives and enjoys, he likes a good fight. And that's something that the Puerto Rican style of Lucha Libre is known for, that hardcore, that brawling style. Yes, and Lince Dorado proudly Puerto Rican. He'll tell you, I ain't Mexican. He almost says it with like like an air of like, like blue blood arrogance. Like I ain't no Mexican. There's some great agility from the Psycho Clown. Oh, traded deep arm drags. Picking the leg, rolling out. Wow, it just headbutts him to the ground there. Is that what happened? Headbutt to the chest. Well, Hutch Henry's, it was over a year in the making that it took Psycho Clown to arrive in a demand lucha ring. Sam Adonis promised him and he delivered. Does Psycho Clown live up to the standards of the board of directors here at Demand Lucha? Hey man, if being eight months to a year late with the things you promise is called delivering, then I, I have a few people out there that owe me apologies. You'll have to take it up with Sam Adonis, but tonight it's a go Psycho Clown and Lindsay Dorado. Oh yeah, Clown, he's not giving him that handshake. Ole! What do you know about Spanish bullfighting, Hutch Henry? Not a lot. I know it takes a lot of technical skill, the kind of technical skill that Lince Dorado uses, like eye pokes and back breaks. It was a mistake for Psycho Cloud to turn his back on someone like Lince Dorado. He gave him the opening, Hutch Henry. You ever tried to eye poke a bull, like a, a, a raging bull? That's how you put, that's how you take him down, man. Screw the sword. 
Three Stooges action, buddy. We got bulls, we got cats, we got clowns here in the main event. And Lindsay Dorado, Hutch Henry, she took exception with the talent that you've provided him thus far in his tenure at Demand Lucha, calling all his opponents clowns. Yeah, well, he's been taken to the limit many, many times by all those clowns. Lindsay Dorado, certainly not the premier champion either. That is a fake title that he's holding right now. Stole it. All the way up and over to the outside. Classic Psycho Clown. And now going under the ring, what's he looking for? So you know Psycho Clown, his family, but he also associates with other clowns, Hutch Henry. Oh, yes. Let's not talk about the Psycho Clown posse. Murder Clown. Oh! The Psycho Circus. Murder Clown, Monster Clown, Dave the Clown, Psycho Clown. Psycho Clown using some of Lince Dorado's technical skill here right now. The Dorado School of Lucha Libre. Steel post, close fist, eye pokes, and back rakes. Sometimes you get caught up in the pageantry of Psycho Clown and you forget about how big the guy is. A oh, big individual, and I've seen that mask torn apart and covered in blood many times. This guy is a hardcore athlete. If he's not the life of the party, oh! oh through the ring post. He's the master of the massacre. Well, he said things were gonna get a little psycho loco here tonight, and they just did that. Lince Dorado, I don't know if this is the kind of matchup that he wanted for his first ever interim defense. Fans getting up close and personal. Lince took the pole right to the head. I think he got confused there, started fighting with one of the fans. Kind of like a punch drunk boxer. Don't know where you're at. Just taking shots at whatever you can get a hold of. Oh, and returning the favor straight to the steel cycle clown. Even though Lince Dorado has the upper hand here, Hutch Henry's, I think it's a critical mistake to try to brawl and go toe to toe with someone like Psycho Clown. Double axe handle, Chris. I gotta call the double axe handle because it was a double axe handle. So you gotta call it. Oh double yeah. Axe handle. Here at Demand Lucha. Oh yeah. Oh, and I'm like, it's like I could we we could get the editor to make a cut right there. You just cut right from chair shot to chair shot in the exact same spot. Psycho Clown not done yet here. Hutch Henry's. What would it mean if Psycho Clown wins that interim championship? Oh, it means we'll be seeing a whole hell of a lot more of them. But right now he's seeing stars. That's for sure. Chair shot right to the face. A little bit too much pageantry before going for that plancha, and he paid for it. Psycho Clown, even though he's on the worst for wear here, this is his element, Hutch Henry. Oh my lord! Tope Con Hilo through the ropes from the Golden Links, Lince Dorado. And usually you see that over the top rope, but Lince Dorado throwing caution to the wind. Here we go right now through the second rope, and look at that spin in midair. Taking out the Psycho Clown into the steel chairs and all. It's hard to find a competitor who's so smooth, so versatile like Lince Dorado. Oh yeah, man, Lince's such a goddamn prick. But man, is he ever talented. He is smooth like butter, like melted butter. He's That's so smooth. Literally why he's been everywhere to the top of the mountain WWE and back again, Lince Dorado. I don't think he got his due in WWE. They never booked him in the matches where he could really shine. I mean, this guy has champion written all over him. I mean, he is a serious pro, and you put him in the ring. I mean, step for step, he's always ahead of his opponents. He can read the ring. His footwork, his footwork is impeccable. Lince Dorado, I hate to say it, but he's one of the best pros in the game today. And you can see it right now, trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and hold his own in a brawl with, with Psycho Clown. And it's funny that you mentioned Lince Dorado literally been everywhere. You said he wasn't booked well in WWE, but isn't that how this interim championship problem started here at Demand Lucha? He felt he wasn't getting the respect that he was deserved as one of the premier names that first ever came to Demand Lucha in its inception. Man, you know what? He could be the premier champion. He could be a proud champion. I'd be proud to call him champion, but I don't know what happened a couple months ago. He just changed his tune and now he's a total prick. And I guess it's working for him because here he is in the main event at Demand Lucha, which he believes he should have been in this spot the whole time. It doesn't matter if he was in WWE. He thought he should come back and go right to the top. Well, don't forget, he did that only after he tried to raise money for charity and take that Toronto Raptors inspired gear and he got paid first, Hutch Henry. Like I said, I'm torn with Lindsay Dorado. Like he's kind of a prick, but I don't know. He's, he's like Vince McMahon. You know he's a scumbag, but he still does good things once in a while. And look, wow, 
crushing that chair, didn't get the height he wanted off of it. But then what, Air Raid Siren right into it there, a dead eye, I don't know what that was, but crushing the chair, the final blow, turning that thing into dust. Tried to finish Psycho Clown off and springboard off of that chair, but it had collapsed under the weight of he, Lince Dorado. He tried to Sabu it, and he ended up sabooing it because Sabu fucks shit up all the time. So there you go. He got Sabu'd. That's he just Sabu's kind of luck to have a chair crunkle under you. Fans coming unglued as Lince Dorado looks under that ring, Hutch Henry's, for any plunder. But you can see Psycho Clown trying to do the same. I, I thought he was like, I thought he was putting plunder back under the ring. I was like, get rid of this shit. Lince Dorado doesn't want any of it. Yeah, I you like, might be right, Hutch Henry. It's like they're looking for doors or something and they're disappointed that we're out of doors. Oh, okay, we're not out of doors. I'm sorry. I spoke a little too soon. <laughs> How did he not see that the first time? Well, you did. I thought you mentioned that we had door sponsors and of course that means an unlimited supply of doors. No, no, no. We're going to have a door sponsor. We just had a guy contact us and he like literally is a door guy. He sells doors. He owns a door emporium and he wants to give us doors and put his logo on them and have guys go through the doors. I'm not fucking with you, this is real. Well, anything can be done for a price, Hutch Henry's, I'm sure you and the other board of directors members will discuss that Hey, further. dude, I, I ain't no fool. This is in the 90s, it's not selling out anymore. Now it's the smart move to take the money. It's 2024, bro. 2024, and it's a smart move when Psycho Clown. Oh, jumping looks, knee. I was going to say, looks to end things here for Lindsay Dorado. He propped that door in that reserved seating here in front of the bar at Parkdale Hall. Well, that's why people pay a premium price for front row. It's the extra danger. It, it makes the show that much more visceral. It's like when you bet on a sporting event, you care that much more. When you buy a front row ticket, you know you could break your leg, so you're that much more into the show. Oh, there we go. Bottom rope, second rope. I would imagine he's gonna go to the top. There we go, to the top. He's going to the top, Chris. All the way to the top, third time's a charm. This is a super crazy move, going top, middle, I mean, bottom, middle, top. That's a super crazy style. Super crazy could return here for that interim championship. Oh! oh. Double boot right to the face. Talk about crazy, psycho clown. Right to the whiskers. And he deserved it, Chris. Nobody deserves it more. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Following through with the forearm. Oh, and spinning back kick. Oh, my God! Bloody hell right through the door. Lindsay Dorado paying for it. Hutch Henry's, we've seen a lot of guests and names come through the doors here at Demand Lucha but there's no one as wild and unpredictable as the legendary Psycho Clown, direct from AAA Mexico. Bloody hell, right into the chairs. Yeah, not only do they come through the doors, they go through the doors as well. Looks Psycho Clown grabbing the like remnants of the door. He's like, I can use this door again, right? It's, it, it's still good, it's did still you, good. Did you see Psycho Clown earlier this afternoon? What? He's definitely an unhinged individual. Yeah. Look at this. He's not done yet with the carnage, Hutch Henry's. He's not done inflicting the punishment. El Psicopata, Del Ring. Oh, bloody hell. I don't know if we got camera guys out there. Hopefully we got some good shots of this action in the crowd. And coming back to the ring now, Jesus Chris, rolling him in. Powerbomb through the door. Psycho Clown making those doors go far. And the door just exploding into shards as the crowd explodes with a beautiful ovation for Psycho Clown. Will it be enough to become the new interim champion of Demand Lucha? I don't know, I support him. Dude, if he's gonna use doors twice, it's gonna save us on our door budget. Springboard moonsault from the inside, two count only for Psycho Clown. Now we have a door sponsor, so no one got it. we don't gotta worry about it. Too little, too late, Psycho Clown. But look, setting him up here, what's he setting him up for, Chris? Pretty close to the corner, whatever it is, he's gonna have some torque to it, but no way. Lindsay rolling through. Clown had it scouted though, soul butt right to the upper thigh. Lindsay goes down like a bag of potatoes. Like a sack of potatoes. Psycho and now clown. up again, sack of potatoes. 
big power bomb. Psycho Clown done playing around, goes up top. Psycho Clown looking to put Lindsay to run away. Oh, wow. wow! Pure danger. Pure psychotic action from Psycho Clown. Hutch Henry's, you signed a lot of matches here tonight. You made a lot of decisions. Are we gonna see a unification match between the winner of this match and Jack Hartwheel at a very Merry Christmas? Yeah, darn bloody right we are. Psycho Clown hopefully gonna come out with that title, a smart guy. Obviously was watching Gringo Loco last match with that split-legged moonsault, almost got the victory, decided he'd give it a shot, a little more body weight, maybe he'd put away Lindsay, was not enough. But here we go with the chairs once again. Psycho Clown means business. Oh, we've seen this before. Oh, 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 oh bloody hell. Shades of Vladimir Guerrero. Home runs here at the Rogers Center. But we're at Parkdale Hall and it's Psycho Clown, Hutch Henry. Oh, man, be quiet, Excalibur, with your weird eclectic references. God, I love you, man. But Toronto yes, Blue you Jays. are correct. Back to back, I grew up in it, Joe Carter. But Paul Molitor was my favorite, Hutch Henry. But let's say Toronto in a lot of trouble. Oh. Oh. Don't forget Alomar. Yeah, I, I used to, uh, I used to know Kelly Gruber, and believe it or not, Tom Hankey used to live across the street from me. I know Tom Hankey. We're not allowed to talk about Roberto Alomar. You want to talk about Blue Jays baseball during the main event? What's wrong with you? Oh, two count only. Very close here for Psycho Clown. Psycho Clown came earlier this summer. Did he go to a Blue Jays game? They love Mexico in baseball. Yes, yes they do. And the funny enough that you mentioned that, he did talk to me about baseball briefly. Of course he did. Yes, man, there was no game that day. We love Los Diablos Rojos in Mexican baseball. And the but crowd loves let's, uh, Psycho Clown. We got, the, we got a chant here going on. Sets him up, Psycho Clown. This could be all over for the Golden Lynx. Mr. Puss in Boots. Oh, on the upside down with that trio. Whoa. <laughs> Stiff as a board, let's say. Face first. You and I finishing off our beers here that Jody Threat gave us. Cheers, Chris. And we're cheersing to Psycho Clown becoming the new interim champion. I am really looking forward to Jack Cartwheel versus Psycho Clown next month. It's gonna be off the hook. It's been a pleasure. Psycho oh. Loco! Oh. Psycho Loco! Oh, Jesus, this guy is psycho! Take it out the ball of like, oh, I don't know what I was thinking. What is going on? Psycho Cloud took it too far. Referee Ken Kensington is dead. And he's gonna try, he's gonna wake him up now. He's like, hey, brother, what happened? Did too you late. see what happened? I didn't even see yeah, what happened, I, man. I, it was. Let's say Toronto, was it? I don't know. He's, he's like, hey, did you see one of these kids that hit you with the chair, man? You okay? Well, he's got a beer. Oh, wake him up. Wake him up, pour beer on him. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Dude, we cannot get away from the beer tonight. Critical goal mistake here from Psycho Clown. He could have put <laughs> Toronto. Able oh. to revive Ken Kensington. Misfire, miscalculation, Lindsay Dorado. Almost finished it right there. He's gonna unmask. Psycho Clown maybe in the center of the ring. The ultimate disgrace in Lucha Libre. Revealing the face. And an automatic disqualification here at the Mayor Lucha. So that, he would definitely come out with the interim title still. Jeez, I don't even know. We need a clear definitive champion here at Demand Lucha. Oh, come on, come on. Dude, if he does this disqualification, I mean, what no. happens if, if, if Psycho Clown do wins it. by disqualification? Is, oh, come on, right come on. It's right in front of us. It's right in front of everybody here at Parkdale Hall. After all these years, all the huge matches, main events in Mexico, AAA, imagine here at Parkdale Hall in Canada is where Le Psycho Clown loses his mask. What an insult. And to a little pissant like Lindsay Dorado. Give me a break. And this isn't an official Lucha Apuestas match. They didn't wager the mask here, Hutch Henry's. This is the ultimate disgrace, tearing at the eyes Come of Psycho on, Clown. Come on, Kensington, you should disqualify him anyways. The intent is there, tearing at the mask. Digging deep with those claws, the Golden Lynx, Lince Dorado. Uh, Poison Rana here? No. Now bringing him down, trio-woe position. Kevin Sullivan would be proud. 
Rest in peace, Kevin Sullivan, Taskmaster. Psycho rolling through, but turns around right into the double boot to the face. Second time for the clown eating that one. Lindsay Dorado sensing victory here at Parkdale Hall. Will do whatever it takes to retain that interim championship. I would certainly lie. There we go, tit for tat. Get him, tear that bloody mask off. A little payback right here from Psycho Clown, reveal his Puerto Rican face. I've seen Lindsay without his mask many times backstage. He's very plain Jane. He's oh. not ugly. He's nothing He's special. He's gonna reveal it right here in front of everybody in Toronto. He's like an NPC meme. He's very, very bland. The Luchador's very protective of that identity, Hutch Henry's. Oh, springboard! Into the crossbody, Chris. Tilt a whirl, backbreaker, smooth as butter. And there we go. Scooped him from that power slam. It was a near fall from Psycho Clown. Nice and deep, Psycho Clown, but not enough here to walk away with the interim premier championship. Watch Henry's. Are you Psycho or are you Loco? here tonight. I'm psyched up, that's for sure. And I'll certainly be loco if Lindsay Dorado wins this bloody match. I'm gonna go completely psycho. I'm gonna go You're gonna crazy. have to get Jack Cartwheel on the phone. Zoom call with Jack Cartwheel. Oh! Right down onto the chair. I did just get a new webcam. Like, no shit, just like two days ago. So maybe I will Zoom call Jack Cartwheel. Jack Cartwheel, get him on the line tonight. He needs to know the winner of this matchup between Lindsay Dorado, Psycho Clown, first time ever well, right I here mean, in Toronto. Jose the Assassin, Lindsay Dorado, and Mark Wheeler, they did a number on Jack's knee. He went to Destiny Wrestling, had a hell of a match against Casey Navarro, but he is certainly uh, nursing that knee at the moment, which is why he's not here. But he'll be here for Christmas, folks, believe me. And hopefully he'll be fully recovered enough to take back what's his. Psycho Driver, Mexican-style destroyer oh. from Psycho Clown. And in traditional Lucha Libre, a pile driver is usually a banned maneuver, but they've made exceptions for the Canadian destroyer as time has gone on, Hutch Henry. But you know, in Canada, it's just called a destroyer. You don't call them Brazil nuts when you're in Brazil. You can't tell me you haven't seen the rundown. I know you're a Dwayne Johnson fan, Canada. you mark. We're in Canada, and it's the Canadian destroyer, P.D. Williams. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh wait, he caught it. I thought that was a boot to the gut, oh. but he caught it. Foul, foul, foul. That would be in Lucha Libre, but Ken Kensington didn't see oh, it. Oh, man forearm right to the face. Is this match anything goes, it must be. It's Psycho Clown. Oh, so many times we've seen Lindsay Dorado come up on top with that very maneuver that oh. shuts that flip and he hooks it deep, Hutch Henry's. Look, quick like a cat, as it were, to the top rope. Proper moniker, very apropos for Lindsay. He is very quick, very agile. The Lynx. Human incarnate. Oh, here we go. That's the second time Psycho Clown has channeled some gringo loco. He knows what works here in Toronto, Canada. Ah, oh, wow. just barely out. That was close, but it's bad news here for Lindsay Dorado. That belt has come off, that weight belt that gives. Oh, oh. oh, <laughs> oh attacking the, the cameraman, camera. attacking the referee, attacking everyone. Dude, what is with this guy attacking the referee? I think you know what's with him, he's psycho. You can't get a pin if you knock out the referee, bro. And look at this monstrosity in the corner. Do you think that oh, psycho low, clown- Oh, low, Chris, sorry to cut oh, you off. Oh, oh, oh. Pulled off the mask, wow! No. Oh, and there's no referee to disqualify. I was gonna say, do you think psycho clown cares about victories, Hutch Henry's? but he definitely cares about exposing his identity. And Kensington didn't see it, buddy, how? That's he a disqualification, damn it! What a 
a little effing prick. This guy's such a goddamn little weasel. Wow, what a turn of events. What a main event to Lucha de los Muertos. Every Lucha de los Muertos, Hachan continues to make history year after year for Demand Lucha. 